hey, hey, Team HQ Sports. It's a snowy mess here on the East Coast, so you know what that means. I got my gear out and I'm going for a night ride as soon as I can get you closer with some cash and me closer to a mountain. I'm Lauren Gambino. Welcome back in to some sports only trivia tonight. We get things going on social media before every game of HQ Sports. Find us at HQ Sports, look how convenient that is, or comment your answer in the chat right now. And tonight we wanted to know, with Manny Machado's record-breaking deal, where do you think Bryce Harper is going? And I'd like to think that he may have a chance at even more cash than Manny. At Burt210 says, to the Cubs, even though they're out of money. At Cheesy Lead 89 says, San Diego to create a new force on the West Coast. Uh, yeah, they are definitely out of money. And JD42011 says, anywhere but the Yankees. Sorry, Lauren. That's okay, Jeff. It's all right. You know why? Because I don't know where Bryce is headed. I personally think he may stay in D.C., but I will tell you, I am one of the Yankee fans happy that New York did not sign Manny. Actually, I may not be the only one. Did I have a child that I didn't know about? How cute was he? Ugh, and it's so true though, right? I always hated when a rival player came over to my team. Except for Johnny Damon. That is my one and only exception. As always, thank you so much for playing along with us. Now let's get to the main event. If you're new to HQ Sports, welcome. And this is how it goes. I'm taking you through 12 rounds of sports-only trivia. The questions will start nice and easy. Think easy layups. And then they'll only get tougher, like a full court heave. If you can hang with me round after round all the way to the finish, then you win. Tonight's prize is $1,000. I know, I know, it's not Manny Machado money. Actually, it might be what he makes every 15 minutes, right? This game is 15 minutes. <gasps> so yeah, we're making Manny money, I like it. All right, you'll also be earning points for every question that you get correct. The more points you earn, the quicker you can level up. Getting to a new level means you get another free pass on questions. Free passes mean you get to stay in the game. You can level all the way up to level 10, which means that's less questions that you need to absolutely know to win a better chance at winning. At the season finale, we will play one game for a huge jackpot that continues to grow based on how many points you all keep earning. Let's check in and see where that jackpot is at. 101,998 dollars. That is a lot of dollars. And the season finale is almost upon us. Not many days left. So you better start stockpiling those points for your chance at that big prize. All right. I think that's about it for Coach's Notes. Oh, but make sure you pick up an extra life for tonight's game. I'm just giving you a heads up. It may be a tough one. All right, team, it's time to hop up off the bench and hustle on in here. To the over 130,000 players joining us tonight, put them up. This quiz is not for the week. Round one starts right now. What sport frequently restarts play with something called a scrum? Ice dancing, rugby, fishing. This should be nice and easy for you. Well, involving up to eight players from each team in a very angry hug that kind of looks like this. That's intense. That is called a scrum, and it is found in rugby. Rugby is the answer here, round number one. Oh yeah, that intense scrum. They all kind of pile together. They get into that kind of position. Yeah, and then gameplay resumes, so there it is. Rugby is the answer we were looking for. 105,873 of you knew that one, and I'm gonna need all of your eyes on the screen right now. We're doing something a little bit different, and I need you to pay attention for this one. Round number two. How many degrees did Tony Hawk spin in this groundbreaking trick? Yeah. 
How many degrees was that trick? Was it 360, 900, or 90? Tony Hawk making moves. What was it? I hope you were able to count all of those spins because at the 1999 X Games, Tony Hawk became the first skateboarder to land a 900 degree spin in competition. Do you want to know what 900 degrees looks like in slower motion than that? I'll start for you. One, two, and a half. That's how many it takes. 900 degrees, that's a lot. 90,803 of you knew that one. And hey, this question gets me thinking. Tony Hawk Underground was one of my favorite video games of all time. What is your favorite sports related video game? And I want you to be specific. Give me the year. Let me know in the chat right now. We're gonna announce this before our halftime at the end of round number five. But as for now, we're moving on to round number three. What team just signed a player to the most expensive free agent deal in MLB history? San Diego Padres, Chicago White Sox, Philadelphia Phillies. I hope you were paying attention at the top of the show because you could easily get by this round right now. But after his brother-in-law and best friend both signed with the White Sox, and after posting a picture of a black and white glove online, everyone, including me, expected Manny Machado to go with the White Sox. But the Padres jumped in and gave him a record-setting 10-year, $300 million deal. San Diego Padres is the answer here. 75,461 of you, you know, are either paying attention to current events or paying attention to me at the top of the show. Either way, you're moving on to round number four. The current number one team in women's NCAA Division I college basketball is from what state? Indiana, Connecticut, Texas. Shot clock is winding down. UConn has been the premier program in women's college basketball for most of this century, but the current number one is the Baylor Lady Bears who play in Waco, Texas. It's always bigger in Texas, ain't it? 24,804 of you getting that one right. Wow, knocking out over 75,000 players here only at round number four. Well, listen, to the almost 25,000 of you who knew that one, you are safe and moving on to round number five. Here it is. A player from what NBA team won this year's three-point contest? The Brooklyn Nets, Golden State Warriors, or Houston Rockets? Did you watch NBA All-Star Weekend? Then you might have an advantage. Well, the greatest shooter of all time, Steph Curry, made it to the finals, but he was taken down by Joe Harris, who I swear is a real player. Take a look. Ball rack, rip the money ball. This money ball rack is the last rack for him in, in the short corner. But you see how straight he's going versus. Oh, we missed the money ball. Oh, yeah, that sharpshooter from Virginia plays for the Nets. The Brooklyn Nets, that is 55,121 of you knew that one. And hey, we're going to check in with producer extraordinaire Laura to see what your favorite video games were. All right. Danger Dan loved NHL 95 for Sega. Okay. Joe S. said NBA 2013. David Link and Beasley Jr. both said an original classic favorite, Tecmo Bowl. Yes, I love it. Round number six, here it is. What fighter has the record for longest consecutive individual heavyweight title reign? Muhammad Ali, Jack Johnson, or Joe Lewis? And just like these guys, you gotta fight till the finish here. 140 months, that's almost 12 years, and that is how long Joe Lewis held the heavyweight title. It was from 1937 to 1949. Joe Lewis is the fighter we were looking for. 51,050 of you getting this one right here and knocking out, seriously, a true TKO to another 30,000 of you here. 51,000 though, you're still in the ring. You still got it as we move on to round number seven. Before Jackie Robinson played for the Dodgers, he played minor league home games in what city? Portland, Montreal, or Nashville?
In this season. In season six, Robinson spent time playing for the Montreal Royals in Triple A. Montreal is the answer here. The city we were looking for. 41,888 of you know your baseball history. I like it. Listen, the pitch count is continuing to rise as we throw out Pitch number eight, here it is. Which of these bowl games has been part of the college football playoff? Gator, Holiday, Peach. Are you ready? Remember, six bowls rotate as part of the current college football playoff structure. They are the Fiesta, Rose, Cotton, Sugar, Orange, and the Peach. The Peach Bowl, the Holiday and Gator Bowls are two of the bigger non-playoff exhibition bowls. Peach is what we were looking for here. 32,123 of you getting that one right as we start to move on to the toughest set of questions. Can you hang in there for the win? Let's find out. It's round number nine. Which of these drivers won races at the highest level in NASCAR, Formula One, IndyCar, and sports car racing? Tony Stewart, Dario Franchitti, or Dan Gurney? Only three drivers have wins in these four categories. Mario Andretti, Juan Pablo Montoya, and Dan Gurney. Gurney won seven times in IndyCar, five in NASCAR, four in Formula One, and then teamed with AJ Foyt to win the 24 Hours of Le Mans. Dan Gurney is the man of the hour here. 10,736 of you knew that one. Ooh, this race ain't over yet. You don't see a checkered flag, right? We gotta keep going. It's round number 10. The shortest player in the Pro Football Hall of Fame mainly played what position? Wide receiver, cornerback, or kicker? What's it gonna be here, team? Tap that answer. His name was Tommy McDonald, and he scored 13 touchdowns for the championship 1960 Philadelphia Eagles, and is listed by many sources as being five foot seven. I know we picked a really good picture of him kind of stretching it out here, but I swear he's five foot seven, officially making him the smallest player in the Football Hall of Fame. And he was a wide receiver. Yes, that was the position that he played. 9,240 of you knew this one. Oh man, I'm 5'7", so hope is still there for me. And hope is still there for you to win this game right now because height doesn't matter. You just got to be fast and you got to be smart. Here comes round number 11. Who made nine all-star teams and won 1,000 games as a manager for the same MLB team? Gil Hodges, Red Shandinst, or Yogi Berra? A second baseman in his playing days, the appropriately nicknamed Red, is one of the greatest Cardinals of all time, both on the field and in the dugout. He spent 67 years in the organization. Red is the man of the hour here at round number 11. 7,117 of you getting that one right. And listen, we only got one round left. You made it this far. You came all this way. You didn't come all this way to give up right at the end, right? No, that's when we've given everything that we've got. It's round number 12. Are you a winner? Let's find out. What team made the Stanley Cup Finals in each of its first three years in the NHL? Boston Bruins, St. Louis Blues, or Montreal Canadiens? Don't tap out here, team. Finish strong. The NHL did a weird thing where they put all the expansion teams in one division. So one of them had to make the finals. This team sadly lost all three, never winning a single game, and they haven't been back since. The team to do it in their first three years was the Blues, the St. Louis Blues for the win here. And we have 2,757 new HQ Sports MVPs. Congratulations. And 757 new HQ Sports MVPs. Wow! This 
was a tough one, but you took home the win, the pride and the glory. It looks like we are all taking home a prize of about 36 cents. Or I should say you are all taking home a prize. I'm not taking home the prize. I am taking home the glory that I coached a fantastic team, and that is a big enough win for me. And 36 cents, I know what you're going to say, but that's 36 cents more than you started this game with 17 minutes and 25 seconds ago to be exact. Foot Locker, I see you there, Squidward. 36 cents coming at you. Ranch House, 18. Another 36 is coming your way. Amazing work to all of our newest HQ Sports MVPs. You kept up the pace with me for 12 solid rounds, and then you sprinted home at the finish for a big win. Hey, think you could do it again? Well, then let's go. We play HQ Sports every Monday and Wednesday at 7 p.m. Eastern time. So I'll be seeing you on Monday. Hey, make sure you follow us on social media at HQ Sports and me at Lauren little underscore Gambino to stay in the loop and to participate in all of our questions and polls. It's a lot of fun. Hey, HQ Trivia is coming up next at 9 p.m. Eastern time with Scott Rogowski. He's in the building. And then my girl Anna's got you with words at 9.30 p.m. Now, there's at least four inches of fresh gnar pow pow that she's about to shred. Oh, wait, it's raining now? Ugh. I guess it's just subway surfing for me. Until next time, I'm Lauren Gambino. Remember to hydrate, focus, and keep your head in the game.